Hi, my name is Danny, and I want to talk about how I got hired at Starbucks. So in this first part of the video, I want to share why Starbucks, why I chose to work at Starbucks, and then later in the video, I'll share my step-by-step -step process on how I got hired, and kind of what the hiring process might look like for you. So there's a lot of different reasons why I chose to work at Starbucks. Um, I'm just going to go over some of the ones that might resonate with you. One of the reasons I wanted to work at Starbucks was to make friends. I have noticed that there's just a lot of people in my age range and I do have to say just working there for a month and a half I have made some really good friends I love the people I work with I feel like it's a really great group of people um, most of the time we work together as a pretty good team and I'm not gonna lie Starbucks can be really stressful sometimes and they can be really difficult people and I'm really thankful for the group of people that I do work with so I didn't really know this at first, but Starbucks offers its employees a lot of benefits. So some of the benefits that Starbucks offers are full health benefits, dental, vision, eye, wait that's vision, um, the other ones. They offer Spotify Premium, um, as well as the meditation app called Headspace. Um, speaking of your head and space and oh my god you also have mental health support through lyra so you could have a life coach or a therapist um online or face to face and you get about like 30 or 32 sessions or something like that a year you get huge discounts on a lot of big companies like um, sketchers for your work shoes h&m for clothes which a lot of people like h&m i know i like h&m so that's really cool um, but yeah, I mean, there's like a whole list of benefits that Starbucks offers to its partners. So you really could just look up like Starbucks partners, la 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 la. Partners also have access to Starbucks merch, I guess. Like you can get um, different work hats and different like, um, like Starbucks t-shirts that you can wear to work or wear anywhere. Um, yeah, they just have like a full like line of merchandise that only Starbucks partners have access to. You also have a regular regular Starbucks discount on Starbucks items and food, cups, whatever, drinks, of course. And while you're working, you have unlimited free drinks through Starbucks. 30 minutes before you start your shift and then like 30 minutes after and then in between if you have a break or, you know, those types of things, you have access to free drinks. You also get seven free food markout items. So throughout the week, you know, on your breaks for lunch, whatever, you can use those markout items and get free Starbucks food that covers like, you know, like the protein boxes, the sandwiches, the breakfast items, you name it. Um, and then also every week you get a Starbucks coffee markout. So you get to pick one of the coffee beans and have your Starbucks coffee at home. So for me personally, I've been getting a different type of coffee every coffee markout. So it's been really fun, like tasting the different ones and trying to see which ones I like better. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I was like one of those people that for me, coffee's coffee. I like coffee, I'm not picky. I'll be like, yeah, that's good coffee, yeah, that's bad coffee. But I couldn't really like describe like the differences or like the little nuances between the different types of coffees. But I think I can now and I like to say like I'm a coffee connoisseur. One of the things I love about Starbucks is the flexibility. You could work at any of the stores. You just need approval through the store managers. If you feel like you're not getting enough hours, you can easily get those hours at a neighboring store. And you guys know, like, there's a Starbucks every, like, two miles. Okay, so enough about all that. I'm sure the real part of the video and watching this video is just to see how to get hired. I'm sure if you clicked on this video already, you've already decided that you want to work at Starbucks. So anyways, here is how I got a job at Starbucks. So I just moved to a new city and I saw that there was a Starbucks like right across the street from me. So I applied on Indeed. I didn't hear anything. I applied to a few other places, but I was like, you know what? Like uh, between my boyfriend and I, we just have one car and to be able to walk to work or have that flexibility, um, I was like, okay, like I really want to try to get this job at Starbucks and also all the other reasons that I already listed. Um, and I was like, why am I not hearing back from Starbucks? I don't feel like I'm missing too many things. So I decided to walk there. So I decided to walk over and just introduce myself to the manager, whoever was there. So I walked over to the Starbucks and I asked for the manager and 
Um, the manager wasn't in, so I spoke with the assistant manager and he basically went to go look for my application and he couldn't find it. So if you're applying through a third party like job, you know, there's a good chance that they probably never even got your application because I know they did not get mine. So anyways, he basically just sat me down and showed me where I could formally apply. Um, it was really easy under like the Starbucks website. Um, but yeah, so I went and I applied that way and he said to just give him a call when I comp submit the application and hopefully they could set up a formal interview. So, I mean, it was just as easy as that. Um, I made the application, I called him. He was like, all right, I'll get in touch with my manager and she'll pull your application and we'll sit you down for an interview. Um, a few days passed, I hadn't heard anything. So I called again and he was like, don't worry. Like we just want to like um, organize the hiring process with other future employees so that way when um when and if you get hired you can train with a group of people so i was like okay no worries um i'm just let me know if i'm annoying you guys because i keep calling you know i don't want to be like that person i didn't say that exactly but anyways i finally get a call from the manager and she wants to set up an interview i am like i'm free whenever so i can just you know stroll in Okay, so we're at their interview. I wore like just like a collared shirt and um, these like olive colored pants. And it was honestly a pretty casual interview. I sat down with my manager and she just asked like basic interview questions and it felt like more of a conversation. I felt really comfortable. Um, I was a little nervous, just like any human would be for an interview. But I mean, it wasn't too bad. I, there's a couple generic scenarios that they're gonna want you to discuss and like see how you would react. And a lot of it's like customer interactions and if you ever worked in like a retail type of service, fast service um, thing where you're like the front of a company and like how you would manage like an angry customer or name a time that you've had to experience so-and-so. And I think that the answers that they're really looking for is just making sure you're somebody who's not going to escalate a situation and you know when you need to remove yourself and just get somebody um, like a supervisor or a manager to just deal with the situation um, and that you can handle yourself under pressure because it is a really high pace, high pressure environment and sometimes people do get panicky or they feel really overwhelmed. I have days where I feel really overwhelmed and those days happen and you just have to Tell your supervisor, tell your manager, and everybody, I'm not kidding, every single buddy um, feels that way at times, and everybody sympathizes and empathizes with you, and um, if one area is stressing you out, we switch. And the next thing I felt like my manager kept emphasizing was making sure that you're somebody with like a friendly personality, that you're okay with smiling, that you make sure every customer has a good experience with you, and that you know how to make something right. Like. Starbucks is not one of those companies that is going to turn somebody away if we make their drink wrong, if they didn't like their service. We are all about making sure that somebody gets what they pay for. If that means making a drink twice to make sure that they like it, that's what we're going to do. Um, you know, there are people that try to take advantage of that, but again, you just tell the manager and they'll handle it. But for the most part, like, they just want to make sure that you approach everybody with a smile and like a friendly attitude and that you do your best to just make sure that they have a good experience with you. Um, but yeah, I mean, for the most part, like, they're just looking for a friendly human, and if you are one of those people, I'm sure you're going to be able to get hired. Just make sure the answers that you give are honest, and that you, you trust yourself with those answers, and you trust yourself with, um, I don't know. <laughs> At the end of the day, Starbucks is a fast-growing company. They're huge, they're everywhere, they're always looking for people. My manager needed like 25 new people. Like, that's crazy. The chances of you getting hired at Starbucks are pretty high if you've been able to secure yourself an interview. Um, and everybody gets two aprons and a hat. Um, I'll go ahead and put the, the, the dress code. It just opened up even more. Like, before we had like a specific color palette that we had to follow, but now anything that's like, not too crazy, doesn't have like huge graphics or like words on the shirt or brand names that are, you know, fl being flaunted. Um, you can wear almost anything. Like, I think I could even get away with, maybe not. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of this first video. Um, I'm going to make a second video, like a follow-up to this one, talking about the training process and my experience and what I've learned. And maybe I can share some insight on first starting out in Starbucks and trying to get the ball rolling for you. 
but yeah, this is just my experience with getting hired at Starbucks and what that might look like for you and what you might see on the interview. If you have an upcoming interview or if you want to make those steps to apply at Starbucks, I hope this video was able to offer you some insight and really help you guys make that decision or give you some advice on how to succeed and get that job. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you guys liked it. Um, if you didn't, you probably didn't make it to this part of the video anyways. So anyways, thanks for watching and until next time. Bye guys.